This is the second day, chapter 12. We're continuing the notes. We are on example two, letter C. Write a rule for the nth term of the sequence. Then we're gonna find A22. So to write this rule, we're looking for a pattern. We have to decide if it's arithmetic or not. So we take our term minus the one before it, take a term minus the one before it, and that we see that we get this common difference every time of negative four. So we know that our first term, we're gonna write a rule, all right? So our rule is a of one equals nine, a of n equals, okay, I'm gonna, I'm thinking recursive all of a sudden. We're gonna take a of n equals our first term minus our difference times n minus one. That is our arithmetic rule. So then we can clean this up and say a of n equals nine minus four n plus four so the best way that we could write this would be negative 4n plus 13. And if we were going to figure out what a of 22 was, we would plug in a 22 for the n term. So a of 22 equals negative 88 plus 13. So we get negative 75. We look at our next example. We have to determine what pattern that we're using here. And we see that if we take a term minus the one before it, that's negative 9 plus 15 is going to be 6, negative 3 minus a negative 9 is still 6, and 3 minus a negative 3, which is 6, so our common difference is 6. So we're going to start out with A of N. This is an arithmetic rule. This happens to be an explicit format. So we're going to take our first term, which is negative 15. We're going to add our common difference, n minus 1. So we can clean that up a bit. Distribute. So we have 6n minus 21. And if we wanted to figure out what the 22nd term was, 6 times 22 minus 21 it's going to be 132 minus 21 which is 1, 1, 1 In this case, we know what a specific term is. The 11th term is 144. We know what the common difference is. It's 5. So we have to write a rule given that information. So we know that we're going to start with a n equals a of 1 plus d n minus 1. When your final answer is 41, we have a first term is what we don't know what it is. We have a common difference of 5, written up here in the given. The n, we do know what the n is this time, 
to get 41, we're working with the 11th term. So 41 equals a of 1 plus 5 times 10. So we have 41 equals a of 1 plus 50. So you subtract the 50 to the other side. And we're going to get negative 9. So our rule is going to be a of n equals our first term plus our common difference times n minus 1. Distribute that through. And collect like terms. There's our rule. If the 11th term equals 41 and the common difference had to be 15, it had to be 5. You could test this out by plugging in an 11. Five, uh, 11 times 5 is 55. Minus 14 gives us the 41. One term of an arithmetic sequence, 15, will give us 107. We know that a common difference is 12. So we're going to start out with our basic formula. Now what numbers do we know? What numbers get plugged into this formula? What number goes in for a of n? That's our final result of 107. What is our first term? That's what we're looking for. What is our common difference? That's the 12. How many terms does it take to get the 107? 15 minus 1. Then we can start to clean this up. And when we multiply this out, we get 168. Subtract the 168 over. And our a of 1 is going to be negative 61. So we start out with our formula. Negative 61 is our first term. We have a common difference of 12. n minus 1. That's one way you could leave the answer. This tells us some information in it. That this is your first term. Common difference. It's all built in. But a lot of times you'll see that the book expects you to simplify. I always put the n terms first. So our a of n is going to be 12n minus 73. Working on page 5, we're going to be working with two values that are given to us. The 6th term is 7. The 22nd term is 87. They're giving us a bit of a description of how we do this. We're going to use substitution to solve for it. So we're going to start with the first point. I call it a point. It's a term and its position. It's the same thing as if it's just a point on a graph. So we're going to plug in the 7. We don't know the first term. We don't know the difference. But we do know it's the sixth term. So we're coming up with 7 equals a of 1 plus d times 5. That's the best we can do. So next we're going to come over to the second point that they give us. And we'll say that 87 equals a of 1 plus d, 22 minus 1. 
87 equals a of 1 plus d 21. Now we have our two equations, very much like if it was y equals 3x plus 2, and we had to take two equations and subtract. We're going to work the system. So we're going to take the larger numbers first. I'll write the 21 first this time, just so it's kind of in a normal order like a variable would be. We subtract, so we're going to subtract here, subtract here. I like to circle if I'm changing the sign. So this becomes 80. These cross out completely, that's the plan. Here we get 16, 16 D, and we'll divide by the 16, and we find out that D equals 5. Once d equals 5, we can plug it into either equation. We're going to take 7, a of 1, plus 5 times 5. And our a of 1 here is going to be negative 18. So to write our equation, write the rule, we see our basic format. You can put the d at the end. I like to put it before the parentheses. But a of n equals negative 18. That's our first term we found plus our common difference of 5, n minus 1. Distribute your 5 through. That's why I like to put my d here, because it's more natural to distribute. That would be the rule given that we had a point of 6 equaling 7. So if you plug a 6 in here, you get 30. 30 minus 23 gives us 7. That was the point that we had the first time. If you plug a 22 in here, that'll get us 105 uh, times 20 is 100. 5 times 2 is 10. It should be 110. 110 minus... 23 would be 87 and that's those are the numbers that they give us at the top of the page okay we're going to try it again we're given two sets of terms so we're going to start out with a of n a of 1 plus d n minus 1 we're going to plug in the 91 we don't know what our a of 1 is. We don't know what the difference is. But when we're working with 91, we have a 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 is 4, so I'm going to call that 4d. Then I'm going to come to this side and say that I get a value of 1. When I'm working with the number 20... That becomes 19d. Now I have our two terms. So I'm going to set them up. I'll put the larger number on top. I'll put 91 equals a of 1 plus 4d. Then 1 equals a of 1 plus 19d. Change the signs. So we get 90. The A of 1's cross out completely. We're left with negative 19D. Divide that by negative 15D. 
minus by the negative, uh, negative 15, and we get an answer of negative 6 for the D value. Once I have the 6 for the D value, I now need to figure out what the A of 1 is. So I'm going to take either one of the equations. I can take this one. 1 equals A of 1 plus 19 times our D value, which is negative 6. 19 times 6 is a 114, but that's a negative 114. So we're going to add it to the other side and find out that our first term would have had to have been 115. So our rule is the first term plus our common difference, which is negative 6, n minus 1. Distribute. Collect your like terms, which is 121. So we're going to say negative 6n plus 121. For our final example, Okay, we're going to write a rule for the sequence for the values that are graphed. Notice that the points lie on a line. It may be helpful to create a table for the values to represent the sequence. So we have this linear graph with a whole bunch of dots on it. When n is 1, these are going by 3, so it's 3, 6, 9. When n is 1, we're at negative 9. When n is 2, we're at negative 4. When n is 3, we're up at positive 1. When n is 4, we're up at 6, 11, and 16. Notice we have a common difference here of 5 between each value. The other way we could test it is to take your negative 4 and minus the term before it. Take the 1 and minus the term before it. Take the 6 and minus the term before it. You would still get a D value that equals 5. So we notice that we have A of N. Our first term was negative 9. Our common difference is 5 n minus 1. If we distribute that through, we have a of m that equals 5n minus 14. That's representing very much like y equals mx plus b. It can relate directly to your graph. If you plot the points out in the sequence, it should represent a linear line because all the points have a continuous change, a constant change.